In this video, I want to break down the biggest lies you've been told about work-life balance that are keeping you from accomplishing your goals. A lot of times you'll hear people talk about, oh, you got to have balance. You got to have balance, right? Almost all of that is garbage nonsense. If you want to be super successful, balance is totally fine. If you want to be a regular guy doing regular shit, fucking regular bitches until you die. But if you want extreme success, extreme abundance, if you want uh, to excel above the masses, to rise above the ranks of mediocrity, then trying to achieve balance is going to be counterproductive towards those goals because balance is a recipe for average. If you're balanced, you literally be average like everyone else, because most people live a pretty balanced life, if we're being honest. Right. The average American works about 35 hours a week, you know, uh, according to Department of uh, Labor and Statistics. So that's not even most of the week. They're sleeping, you know, 50 to 60 hours a week and they spend all that other time, you know, having fun, recreation, fucking around, bullshitting. And that's a pretty balanced life. And problem with that, if that's how the average American living, what kind of results are they getting? These are real stats. The average American has less than a thousand dollars in the bank account. The average American is 15 pounds overweight fat losers <laughs> why would we want to be like these motherfuckers we don't right if you really want to excel in life you got to be extreme and that brings me to the first lie you've been told about balance is that you can have it all at once so there's something called delayed gratification there was a study done a long time ago it's called the marshmallow test it was done by researchers at stanford university and they took a lot of fucking little kids like little little kids toddlers and shit right they would put these kids in a room with a marshmallow and they said hey kid i know you love marshmallows and shit i'm gonna leave for a second if you don't eat this marshmallow while i'm gone when i come back I'm going to give you two marshmallows. Dos marshmallione. Some of them were Latino. And then the, the researchers left. And, you know, there's videos of this on the internet, right? And these kids are going to torture, looking at it, staring at it. Go, it's driving them crazy. Some kids ate the fucking marshmallow. They said, you know what? Fuck this shit. I, I need my marshmallow now. I don't care if I get two later. But some kids were able to delay gratification. And they got two marshmallows. But those marshmallows para the nino. And here's the thing. They followed these kids for years they kept checking in with these kids the researchers and what they noticed was the kids who were able to delay gratification these kids had higher sat scores lower levels of substance abuse lower likelihood of obesity better response to stress better social skills and their parents reported that they were like better better children <laughs> than the fucking kids who fucking couldn't control themselves right there's a bunch of follow-up studies that show that these kids had were more successful in life over the last 40 years than the kids who fucking ate the marshmallow what the fuck does these little motherfuckers gotta do with you well if you want huge success you're gonna have to delay some gratification now and then focus on success now and once you get to success, then you can do all the shit that you want to do now, but you get a better version of it. One, two things happen. You get a better version of it and you're more likely to be successful if you can de delay the gratification, if you can learn to sacrifice now for your goals, because if you don't sacrifice for your goals, the goals become the sacrifice. Right. So I remember when I was struggling and I was working, you know, 70, 80 hours a week for like years. And during that time, you know, I didn't really watch no TV. I didn't watch no basketball, no NFL, and I'm black. You know how difficult that was for me not to watch a basketball, right? But I, I, I sacrifice, and now I go to the Heat game, sit fucking courtside. If I'm not courtside, I'm in the motherfucking suites that are owned by my, my boys, right? So I have a better version of it. Had I just watched all the games when, instead of fucking hustling, I wouldn't have that now. Not only are you more likely to succeed if you can delay gratification, you'll also get a better version of it. And that goes for everything. If you're trying to save money so you can invest in yourself or invest in your business, you may not be able to buy all the Gucci belts you want right now, or <laughs> you may not be able to take the vacations and stuff. But now, because I, I focus on my goals, and when, I, when we go on vacation, man, we fly first class. <laughs> Me and my girl was on a vacation. We weren't staying in a fucking room. We were staying at some Airbnb that we had to clean up before we left. <laughs> Right. We was in the overwater bungalows. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like the bungalows that are over water. You be seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking stingrays and manatees sw swimming underneath underneath the bungalow. There was a fucking window on the floor. So we could see the, the sea life. 
if we had our own butler and shit like it's better we get a better version of that shit now you guys out here you might have to sacrifice the the fives and sixes you fucking now focus on your goal but once you come up then you can get a chick with the holy trinity right big titties fat ass and a pretty face right now you sacrificing one <laughs> you're like ah pussy ain't got no face <laughs> or you're like i know how some of y'all man some of y'all you're like if the ass is big enough she ain't even gotta have a head i know <laughs> you make it but if you sacrifice that now you can get that holy trinity later and this goes for all things man i'm telling you if you if you're not willing to sacrifice for your goals the goals become the sacrifice but here's the thing it's a sacrifice either way if you're going to sacrifice these momentary pleasures fulfill your potential or you're going to sacrifice your potential for the momentary pleasures it's not like there's a world where you don't sacrifice you will sacrifice you just got to pick which sacrifice it is. Obviously, I recommend you delay gratification and then you can have it all. You just can't have it all right now, if that makes sense. The second lie you've been told about work-life balance is that you got to sacrifice sleep. I, I feel like I see this in, in, in hustle culture. Motherfuckers be like, oh man, sleep is for the week. Yo, we don't sleep. No team, no sleep. All this shit. That's borderline. I'm not supposed to say the R word on YouTube, but you know what I'm, you know what word I'm thinking. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, right? That is, that, that's foolish. It's not thoughtful. The person who made that decision maybe doesn't have the ability to think. That's kind of what I'm getting at. But no, you got to get sleep. And, but in fact, sleep helps you work harder. There's tons of studies. Here's a study right here that so that if you sleep, you actually work better. You work more effectively. You're more focused. It improves your mood, improves your well-being. And especially if you're trying to like build your body, right? You, you definitely need sleep because you make your testosterone when you sleep. I said you make your testosterone when you sleep. I inject mine like a real nigga. <laughs> I pump them numbers up. You feel me? But I'm 42. Well, I'll be 42 this year. I'm injecting my testosterone. You, young man, you got to make your testosterone when you sleep. So you got to make sure you get enough sleep. It's super important. Do not sacrifice sleep to accomplish your goals. I promise you, if you sleep more, you'll be able to work harder, pause, and better during the day. It's like you, you definitely want to work long hours and you definitely want to put in uh, work but it's also about the intensity of that work and if you're fucking sleepy and tired if you're tired you might as well be retired somebody on my team and they come on a fucking zoom and they these motherfuckers look sleepy we shame them mercilessly you got to be have high energy and enthusiasm because you, you need energy to deploy against your goals and if you out here being sleepy it ain't gonna work so now i'm not saying you need to be sleepy the fucking 10 hours a night or no goofy shit like that you want to actually improve the quality of your sleep as well right get enough sleep i only need like seven hours of sleep to, to function that's the minimum effective doses for me but i test that because i track my sleep with the aura ring i used to track it with the whoop man you wear that around your your wrist or something you look like a motherfucking cyber bully with that shit on all that technology so this the aura ring blends seamlessly with my other jewelry in baller paraphernalia so what you want to do is you want to actually get some sort of sleep tracker even if it's just an apple watch you know, whatever. It's slack to that the, something that tracks the quality of your sleep as well. You want to improve your REM sleep. You want to improve your deep sleep and you want to make sure your HRV is high. A few things I've done to improve my sleep. One of them is I'm, I, I got the blackout curtains. I make it super dark. It'd be like it's in the room. It's like there's no lights. It's dark as Wesley Snipes. Another thing I do is I make the room super cold, like it's, it's cold as my girlfriend can stand it. In fact, I don't even think she can stand it. She's got a heated blanket because it's too cold in there. But I keep it cold as possible in the low 60s. 62 is like the perfect range for me. Keep the room temperature 62. I put the thermostat at 62. And studies show that most people sleep better in a cold environment. Then I use a sleep mask. I cover my eyeballs. My, my whole face with a sleep mask. It looks like the Ninja Turtle mask, but without the eye holes. Frequent comment I see on my videos is that I look like a light-skinned Ninja Turtle. And uh, thank you. That was my goal as a child. That was one of my, <laughs> that was a, <laughs> it's deliberate. And then I also had this contraption. That if you want to take it to the next level, called a chili pad. It's that shit, bro. All right. So it's basically like, it's a refrigerator. It's like a tiny refrigerator <laughs> that, that pumps cold water onto a mattress pad that goes on my bed, right? On the mattress. And what it does is the whole mattress feel like the cool side of the pillow. You know, when you flip the pillow side, a pillow over and it's only cold for, it's like super cool and cold for like, you know, a few seconds till your body heat heats it up. Nah, it's going to be like that all night. <laughs> and I noticed my deep sleep and my REM sleep is dramatically improved with the chili pad. And then I take an array of supplements 
supplements, including, but I'm not limited to. I take L-theanine before I go to sleep. I take this shit called Unisar. Somebody told me you're not supposed to take that shit forever. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> That's my shit. Unisom, L-theanine. This shit called the Valerian Root. Um, this is shit called Ashwagandha. It's some African shit. I think it's from Wakanda. It's like a root or something. You know what I mean? And then I take magnesium. I take all them supplements, you know, about 30 minutes before I go to sleep. I'm sleep. My, my ring checks this. I'm sleep in less than fucking five minutes <laughs> every night. No real, no bullshit. It has sleep latency. I sleep in less than five minutes. My girl takes her man long to go to sleep. You know, she be up thinking about life and shit. I don't know what she's doing. Watching TikTok, crying. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> but I'm sleep immediately. This is because of all that shit I do. And, but the quality of my sleep is fucking fantastic, right? Because of all, all this shit. But you got to see what works for you. And the only way to do that is to track it and get the data. But don't sacrifice sleep to work harder, right? Sleep, get enough sleep and get good quality sleep so you can work harder. The next fucking lie, bold faced lie about work life balance is that you got to choose between financial success and personal happiness. And people always say that, man, what about enjoying life? Blah, 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 enjoying life. And every time I see uh, someone says that, I feel kind of sad for them because what they're telling me is, yeah, it, it seems like recreation is the only way they can enjoy life. But man, you're going to work a third of your life, no matter what, no matter who you are, you're going to work about a third of your life at least. And if you don't enjoy it, then it, it's the only way you can enjoy life is recreation, man. That's super sad. So what you got to really do is learn to enjoy pushing yourself, right? Learn to enjoy fulfilling your potential. And you got to see work as a means of fulfilling your potential, right? As opposed to just working for a check. If you can learn to enjoy your work or find work that you enjoy, right? Or a combination of, of the two, then you won't need to do like escapism. You won't need to go on vacation to enjoy life. You won't need to uh, go on a party to enjoy life. I'm, and nothing's wrong with those things. I'm not saying that those things are bad within themselves. I'm saying if that's the only way you can enjoy life, that's a sad existence because you can only do those things sparingly. That means you only get pockets of joy and or you're working all day and you just can't wait for the weekend. Oh, I can't wait for the weekend. Or, you know, uh, the case of the Mondays or all that fucking bullshit. Let's say if you, once you learn to enjoy life or you find work that you enjoy, all oh, that shit goes away. I get excited about Monday. Monday's my favorite day of the week. I feel like I put my jersey on and I get in the game. And I, and I hope you guys can find that for yourself. That is 100% that's a cheat code in life because right? you got to work anyway. But if you can find a way to enjoy it and one of the main things that could help you accomplish that, really look at your work as a way to fulfill your potential, take your life to the next level. When you learn to enjoy your work, when you're looking at it as a way to fulfill your potential, then it's like you notice that every day you're getting better. And you can do that even with fucking labor jobs. Right. You got to look at what's important. For example, when I was working for moving companies, I would keep in mind that man this is an important job i'm doing right like these people are trusting me to take everything they own pack it up put it in a truck and take it to their new home where they're going to start a family like that's an important job right you can do that shit even if you a janitor if you a bus driver man you helping people get to work right like really think about what you're doing and why why it's important and how help you build your work ethic because you're going to need that to really start balling and if you can enjoy some bullshit job then you can really uh then when you find something that you enjoy you'll be able to work even harder at that the next lie you've been told about work-life balance is that success requires you to sacrifice your personal life that's not true you don't have to neglect your family you don't have to neglect your friends you can still have a, a personal life and work super hard you just have to plan it and the way you do that is with your calendar all right so i'm gonna bring up my calendar just to show you guys something what it looks like what i do is i plan out every almost every hour of every day there's very little white space on my calendar this is for the week but I, I plan out my activities things are fun i'm gonna go into the shooting range with some of the homies you know i got uh, i put time with my girl i put time with my son i put time with my niece and nephews but i plan everything even sleep meals workout and I, I plan everything down to the hour and the beauty of this is once you start to do this you'll notice that you have way more time than you think so check this out if you go ahead add up how many hours a week do you sleep on average right if you sleep eight hours a night that's 56 hours. How many hours a week do you work? Let's say you work 40 hours a week. Then, you know, you want to spend time with your with your family, right? I don't know how many hours you want to spend with your, with the fam. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's, let's spend as much time as you want with the family. Uh, maybe like, let's say you don't have 40 hours a week to spend with your family. I'm going to say 20, right? 
let's say 20. So we add that up, 116 hours uh, a week. Now, here's the thing. There are 168 hours in every week. That means you got 52 hours a week left, right? You, this, you're not sacrificing sleep. You're not sacrificing work. You're not sacrificing family. And let's say you, you could work, even if you could put work out of here, you still got time to work out. You still got time to work harder, right? There's more time. It's just you're not planning your time right. So what everybody says they don't have time, when they show me their calendar, I always see they don't look like mine. Like you start, you got to start planning every hour of every day. And if you have some white space, that's cool. You know, you move it around, but like really like structure it. And Bruce Lee said, if you love life, don't waste time because time is what life is made of. And the beauty of using a calendar is you can actually use the calendar to to structure your life the way you want it. If you want to spend more time with your family than that, okay, that's cool, man. Put it in your calendar. If you want to spend more time working in that, perfect. Put it in your calendar. If you want to spend more time doing something else, put it in your calendar, but choreograph it. You guys are winging it and wondering why you don't have enough time. You can't succeed like that. This is probably my number one tip if you want to succeed in life in any endeavor because what's going to happen is you're going to notice that you're using your time more effectively and you start getting way more done than everyone else around you you're going to be running circles around these motherfuckers i have a video about how to set up your calendar and how to uh, manage your time better you should go watch that video right now